Kitts. Saint Kitts. Is it real? <laughs> oh my god! So what's our little shop here? We found some local drinks. Tastes fabulous. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. I will let you know. Awesome. Yeah, so we did a quick uh, little breakfast of Windjammers. We're in St. Kitts, I think, till four or five. Bye, so, okay, so we're getting off ship. We did have an excursion book through uh, shortexcursiongroup.com, but it was canceled. I guess they didn't have enough, uh, you know, enough takers or whatever, so they had to cancel it. So, so we're, we're on our own. So tour around, at least take a look at the ship from outside and enjoy the ship with hopefully a little empty. First time stepping foot off the ship. And into St. Kitts. St. Kitts. First time in this port. We've never been. So far, temperature wise, it's, bump, bump. Uh, it's pretty good. I think the app said it was 83 degrees. So. Yeah, it feels great. Could have even done a tank top. Uh, it might get hot in the but sun. But that would right mean now. more sunscreen. <laughs> or in the shade. So we'll see. Right? <laughs> oh. That's crazy. Yep, we've ran across Aida, I believe, on the celebration. Yeah, and then we got a Club Med 2. Right yeah, next to Club it. Club Med 2. Not heard of that one, looks very small. It's an expensive cruise. And we are entering the sun. Okay, yeah. Easily could have did a tank top, it's hot. Eh, we'll find some drinks and some shade. There she is. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, 
say English, Spanish, French, and German. Look at these trees. Okay. I've never, that almost looks like the tree yeah, in Animal Kingdom. Yeah, I was just going to say, it looks like the tree of life. Oh. Yeah, tree of life here. <laughs> Crazy. And then this tree, I'm not sure I've seen a tree that looks like this before. Yeah, coming in hot. Oh, and there's a fountain in the middle. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Ooh. I don't like how these, oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. Say, so what's with the flying jerks? <laughs> I don't know. I don't like <laughs> no. it. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, let us know if you've ever seen a tree that looks like this. Huh. It's very different. Is it real? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we have the tree of life over there. Cool looking fountain. God, and birds that just like fly directly at your Yeah, head. we'll get a shot of that, I'm sure. No, oh, jeez. Uh, we have roosters and chickens. Hey there, friend. I think he's out. Cool looking rooster, though. <laughs> Look at that spot. Yeah. All the bamboo. That's a spot for oh, this good is lovely shade. Right here. All right, we found an old Catholic church. Oh yeah, Immaculate Conception Catholic Church. Immaculate Conception. Hello. Okay, our little shop here, we found some local drinks. Uh, malt, a giant malt, and, and then hers is, is like ginger. ginseng up, so I'm hoping it's like ginger, but... It's kind of like ginger. We got some very nice people that sold us some <laughs> nice cold beverages. Yes, and we're thirsty. Oh, okay. All right, they said this one is made locally. It is heavy molasses flavor. I don't know. Interesting. I'm not getting much ginger, but it's cold and it's nice, so. That's really different, it's not bad. Yeah, this is like you're eating a candy. Try that. Oh, wow, no, okay. I like mine better. This they're both, is, they're both good. That's too malty for me. <laughs> Can, <laughs> it's giant malt. Yeah, if you've tried this, let us know. And they actually have a KFC here. So if you stay in this little shop area, they do have a bunch of little cuisines here. A food court you can check out. We'll take a gander. Margarita bar and a mango hurricane. 
Yeah, mango. I have pina colada. I've already tasted it. It tastes fabulous. And we'll show you all the flavors here. They have uh, mango, hurricane, watermelon, pina colada, strawberry, peach. And you can get any of them. And the thumbs up. Are they I'm good? I'm a little disappointed in myself. They had watermelon that I didn't notice until now. Oh, I guess yours kind of looks like half watermelon, half mango. So I'm just going to have to come back then. We have another crazy view on this side of the ship. Amazing. Look at this. Okay, this is our table for dinner. We have Beach Please, Cruise World, and we all have a drink. Oh boy. So, cheers. Cheers. To oh. surviving the night. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Uh, so the Asian tacos, pork right? so bio, bio tacos. Baba? Bao tacos. Oh, so they're like, okay, maybe yeah. it's a little tacos. Cool, yeah. cool. And then I have French onion soup, and then I also have coconut shrimp on the way. Coconut shrimp here. Give this little go. Looks like a, almost like a sweet and sour. Very good. Oh, that's right. uh, a pesto dish, but I don't remember what. It's pesto. Pesto. Tagliatore. Yes. Tagliatore. I think that's right. Okay, he's, doing, that looks very he's good. doing Italian again, Andy. I know. Watch the it's Italian. It's just pesto, sir. Uh, Caribbean chicken here. And rice, beans, plantains over here. Yeah, babe. Right on. I will let you know it does look quite good. Pesto? That's alright. It's alright. <laughs> alright. So, my pesto doesn't have much flavor. So, it needed to have some garlic or something because it's a little bland. Alright, I have a carrot cake. It is pretty good. It's not bad of a carrot cake. Decent. Henry has a blueberry cobbler. I actually like it. It's pretty after what the warm apple cobbler was from the night before. So I do like it. So similar to the apple, just swap out. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my. Alright, so we have seen that show a couple nights ago, but how cool is it to just chill at this bar? Espresso martinis again. And get a little extra viewing of the show. Right. Okay, we have the chai, old fashioned. Jonathan, do your thing. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. And one of the best places to get drinks on the Icon of the Seas. Yeah. All right, look at this group here. Look at this group. Andrea. Only on Icon. No, it's not. Well, it's everywhere. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got the 1400 drink with the bubble. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone needs a bubble. Can I go now? Do it. Oh, that's, that's a good, good one. one. That's good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, you get another one. I'm going to show you how to do it, Andrea. Oh. Oh. 
that to get down on Keep it coming. I like the smell here. <laughs> Make sure liquor doesn't spot you. <laughs> we have made it to the end of day four uh slept in a little bit again had breakfast in the windjammer we were supposed to have an excursion in st kitts but it was canceled so we decided to be our own tour guides walk around a little bit when we were in st kitts um we were approached by a nun that actually lived in st louis for three years she wanted to get somebody to teach her class so she could take us around the island. Told us to head over to Immaculate Heart Catholic Church where nice little uh, woman was working in a gift shop. And cool thing is she told us that we, we everybody was so excited about the icon being there because we are making history. First tourist on the icon visiting St. Kitts. So, came back on board. I made it to the swim up bar for the first time and the infinity pool. Had dinner in the main dining room with Beach Plays and Cruise World. We had a great time at the coffee bar at Ryan and Bean, hanging out with the awesome bartenders there. We actually got to meet Alex, who she created all the drinks for this ship. Uh, so, that was pretty cool. Uh, headed over to uh, bar 1400 and finally got to try the 1400 bubble drink uh, ran into um, how we cruise again hung out with beach fleas got to see uh, Trev and Chels went on and on about our min pins and their puppies headed to bed and here we are so thanks for coming along stay tuned for St. Thomas tomorrow